Let's talk now, though, about something that's been doing the rounds effectively over the course of the last few days in the newspapers here in the UK. Because what we've seen uh, in the UK is a sort of um, surge in claims of sexual abuse by pupils at state schools. Uh, we're told it's also a problem uh, in private schools, even though the figures are not really available for that. But there's definitely a sense out there that there is a kind of toxic masculinity going on uh, and that somehow men are all to blame for something which they shouldn't be doing. And all men are to blame for the behaviour of all other men. Down in Australia, there's been an extraordinary story um, where a school made all the boys in that school stand up and basically apologise to all the girls in that school uh, in an assembly for what they called rapes committed by their gender which seems to me to be an extraordinary development. Let's talk to Danielle Shepherd, who's a parent at Brower College uh, in Warmambool, Australia. Uh, Dan Danielle, a very good uh, morning to you. Welcome. Hi, Mike. How are you going? Yeah, very well indeed. I mean, we've got um, some of this kind of stuff going on in the UK, but we've never quite seen it reach proportions like this. Tell us what happened. Uh, so uh, my son told me that he was asked to stand up after the entire assembly watched a video um, on uh, consent, sexual consent and, mm. and consent within schools. Um, he, not just himself, but all of the boys uh, were asked to stand up in solidarity to apologise uh, on behalf of their gender for anything that had happened to the female gender, uh, which is not right. No, honestly, no, it really isn't right. And and I mean, were they given any warning that this was going to be something they were going to be asked to do? No. So the, the students had no idea. Um, as far as I've heard, the teachers had no idea. Uh, it was all just thrown together at the last second and everyone was put on the spot. And they were being asked to apologise for rapes committed by their gender? Was that just in general or was it at the school or was it in your town? I mean, what were they apologising for? Uh, and that, that, that's the, the, the great question, isn't it? Uh, they, The students were unsure what they were apologising for. Mm. Um, it was apparently for sexual abuse or putting, um, not, not following with consent um, for students in, in the school but it should not be put on to a bunch of 12-year-old, 12 to 18-year-old boys that have never done anything like that. Well, we were talking about this earlier on uh, with Julie Hartley Brewer on Breakfast and how, you know, boys are now being kind of put upon by lots of other people in society as if everything is their fault. I mean, I've got two teenage sons myself and I find it quite remarkable that, uh, that they're being looked at as if they're sort of sexual predators at such yes, a young age. That's, that's what my son's concern is. He turned around and said to me, and now I'm concerned that people are looking at me as if I'm a predator or going to be a predator as I grow. Um, and now he's worried that people are, are looking at him like that, and, and he's not. Mm. Um, yeah, a lot of the other students, it's all been um, on the, the news down here, uh, most of the, the male students that have been on the TV, on the news, have, have, have vo vocalised the same concern. Yeah. And what's the kind of general attitude in, in Australia to all of this? Because, you know, we're living in this kind of woke world now where, you know, we have to be very careful not to offend anyone, where we all have to somehow take account of people um, that we don't know, taking offence at something we say before we've even said it, it's almost like you're apologising all the time for something that you don't even know has happened yet. Yes, that's that's true. That's that's the world today, I think. But down here where we are angry, everyone in, well, a lot of people in Australia are angry. Um, a lot of people in Warrnambool, the parents at the school are ropeable. Um, even the parents of, of the daughters and, and that the females at the school were uh, ropeable. Uh, this day and age, there's not two genders. There are many genders, mm. and you've singled out one gender to stand up and apologise to all of them, whether they were female. You, you asked one gender to stand. Now, from my understanding, 
if there were any students in the school that were transgender, how were they feeling? How did they feel to be asked to pick a side mm. whether they wanted to stand with the boys and apologise or yeah. sit with the girls and be apologised to? Um, it's not a great thing to have to be put through. No. And have you, as parents, uh, t uh, sort of, uh, gone to the school to ask them what the hell they thought they were doing? I have not had a chance to do that. I have been that inundated since the uh, day I found out. I put a post on Facebook on Brower's page, mm. uh, basically stating that I was not impressed that my son was asked to apologise for something he had never done. Mm. And since then, I've been inundated with um, messages for interviews and, and stuff like that. Mm. I um, The school has sent out a mass message apologising in general for what they have done. They have also given the whole school extra time for lunch, I believe, one day right. to try and apologise. But, um, you know, what, what's an extra 15 minutes when you may have psychologically damaged yeah. many students? Well, it is an extraordinary story. Danielle, thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us. Danielle Shepherd, their parent at, at Brow College in Warrnambool, Australia, where basically the school have now apologised for making everybody else apologise. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers, mad, crazy world that we now live in. But we want to hear from you because there's a similar, um, I think, a similar kind of feeling abroad here in the UK because there's this massive surge in claims of sexual abuse. Now, I have no idea whether there's an awful lot of sexual abuse going on at school. My sense is that there's not as much as some people are suggesting that there is. But you may have a different view. If you're a parent, I'd love to hear from you. 0344 499 1000 is the number. This is Talk Radio.